Hello, my other lifers. How are you doing on this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? Um, I'm recording more than one video today, so you're going to see this outfit on repeat. I am... The other video will be posted first, so this video will probably make more sense if you watch that one first. But in that other video, I told you I was about to transition into the new um, Wolf Gray Marc Jacobs mini tote that I had just uh, purchased, and it fin it's finally here, and I bought an a liner insert that I feel is a little bit too big, but whatever. I decided I don't want to switch into that wolf gray mini tote just yet. I want to keep using the blue C. Um, I'm weird about what colors I want to use at certain times. I got to be in a mood and I'm really back into like navy blues right now. So I don't want, I'm not ready to let go of blue C. Don't want, I don't want to go bye bye to her, but I figured, you know what? Because I want to insert the, the liner that I just received, which I feel According to Amazon, when it, this is where I purchased this insert, and it came with this stuff too. Um, thing for your key, a little middle section. This the, this medium size was perfect for the Marc Jacobs mini tote, as well as the Speedy Twenty Five Bandoulier, which I do not own yet, but that is a future purchase that I am currently saving up for. Um, that, that medium, which is what this is, is the, the right size for it. And I'm going to be honest. I did try to show you in my previous video that, it, it, you know, the sides kind of bend in. You, I have to take this middle section out, which I probably would have anyway. Um, I'm not, I, I, it feels like it's too big, okay? My concern is it being able to fit into the Speedy 25, but whatever. If I have to go, go back, and I'm not going to return it. It fit enough, which I will show you as I stuff it in here that I can work with it, but I figured why not? I'll, I'll do a what's in my bag as I'm taking everything out to fit that in, okay? So I, listen, we are not a professional channel, okay? Oh, by the way, hi, I'm Kimberly. Uh, Kimberly's Other Life, yeah? This channel's called that because I have another channel where I'm a little more popular, and that is Manifesting with Kimberly, where all we talk about is the law of assumption and manifestation. But if you're new to me, I'm being professional and having the best lighting and looking all, you know, dialed up for all my videos is not my thing. Okay. It's just not my thing. Like, that's a lie. That's not who I am. I'm only really dressed up with the full glam on when I'm with my man. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm just chilling at home, doing shit, working, probably going to work out, I don't, I don't have a full face of makeup on. I don't have perfection because I don't care enough. Okay. That's not real life. This is really how I am. So I'm going to show you. Okay, I'm wearing a sweatshirt with a t-shirt underneath. It's all crumpled. It says Walmart because I used to work there. That's how I am because it's comfy. Okay, so let's dive into what's in my bag. Okay, this is the bag I'm currently using and going to stay using. It is the Marc Jacobs Mini Toe in the navy blue. I think it's called Blue Sea. All right, so... What I do currently have stuffed in there is an empty uh, Louis Vuitton mini pochette um, that I had purchased, and I forgot what this... There's a certain name they call for having this thing done on it. I'll insert it on the screen. So I had that done with my name, Kim, instead of my regular initials, just in case my last name changes, which it might in the future. Uh, so I had that kind of stuffed in there, but... Truthfully, I just put it on top of my bag like 10 minutes ago, so it really wasn't in the bag, okay? I got that. I have my um, key holder. It's got my car key in it, so it doesn't scratch up all the shit I have. I have a big bundle of hair ties and clips. Pack of gum. An unopened pack of gum. Spare pair of my glasses. My Louis Vuitton Guicle also. Well, they don't call it that anymore, do they? I don't know what they call it now. But it has like extra, just cards. Cards that are important that I might need on the fly, but don't fit in my actual wallet, which I'll show you next. And that's my um, Yves Saint Laurent or Saint Laurent. Or YSL. Um, I don't know what this is called. Card holder in fuchsia pink. That it's not coming up. It's pretty fuchsia in real life that it is. 
That's my card holder. Okay, that's where I keep. I don't keep anything in there, like cash wise, because I keep it in this. In my YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, Saint Laurent, bill pouch. I keep any loose cash in the front, which I currently have none. And like my checkbook and other things I stuff inside there, which like Christmas money, I stuff in there. With my favorite pen of all time, which is this right here. I always keep one here. Okay, and like like gift cards that I've received like for Christmas and stuff, stuffed in front. Lottery tickets that I've won, stuffed in front. Coupons, stuffed in front. Okay, that's that. And my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder, which keeps all my keys that I did have hot stamped with my name Kim. I got a hair there somewhere. Oh, must be on that. Okay. A uh, case of emergencies, I have some bombshell body mist by Victoria's Secret. Because I like to smell good. Uh, a concoction. This was an old Target prescription bottle that I took the, my tag off and this is a mix of, of pills for you know just in case and it's a mix of like these white ones you can't see or whatever it's extra strength excedrin like for headache and shit and the little brown ones if you can see them can you see them are generic ibuprofen okay I don't like to be put out shit um, I'll not show you the front of it, but this is my car registration that should be on my car. It's not. It's in my purse. Um, <laughs> my Christmas card from the love of my life. I'm sentimental. I carry shit with me. I just literally came home from the dentist, so here's a coupon for some act that I need to buy more of because for my enamel. I know you care. Uh, my... AirPods that I bought a case off Amazon that I can't find. A Saab pen, because this is the only kind of car I'll drive until I can't buy them anymore. That's from the guy who works on my car. They keep these there. My little, it was meant to be a bag charm from Kate Spade, but because it's so cute and the bag charm side of it broke off, I just used that for A, spare keys, to lock boxes and to my storage unit and coins. And look how dirty the coins got it. Nasty. But I do love this. I think it's so cute. Um my boyfriend's spare key or key bulb or whatever. Tons of useless receipts, some Chanel perfume spray cards that I can't smell what I was spraying them with anyway anymore. Some, uh, what do you call it? It's generic though. The generic of Sudafed. <laughs> Spare earplugs. When I'm sleeping next to someone who's snoring. <laughs> Whether, I, honestly, I know you're all thinking, oh, her boyfriend. No, it's also for the fr poop. I want to say the friggin' dog for my dog because she's a snorer. But I don't want to boot her because I love her so much. I don't want to boot her out of the room, so I just wear the earplugs. Yes, that sounds crazy. A receipt. A book, coupon book for Pudgy's Pizza and Subs. This is somewhere out near my boyfriend. Um, A... A coupon for Delta Sonic car wash and a flyer for Visions Federal Credit Union, a bank out near the boyfriend. We I got that watching the uh, lights on the lake up in Liverpool uh, by Syracuse for Christmas. It's still in my purse. Yep. Um, some Merry Cookie by Bath and Body Works lotion. Uh, perfume mini, not, it's not, it's not a rollerball, it's a spray of the Yves Saint Laurent or YSL, Mon Paris, Mon Paris, Eau du Parfum. I don't know if that's correct pronunciation, but. Perfume sprays in 
the replica oh god but there's another there's more to this brand i can't think of the the brand it's more than just replica i can't say this right it looks like it's saying like maison marjola but it's probably like mosso <laughs> i don't know it's in the by the fireplace it's a smoky slash marshmallowy bourbony scent that I love. And my one of my most favorite perfumes, the God is a Woman by Ariana Grande. Needs to tissue. Really healthy pack of whatchamacallits, bobby pins. Some old school cover girl wet slicks amazement in the pep. I don't know what this one's called. I can't read it. They don't make this anymore. Um, some treat beauties peppermint stick lip balm. I love this stuff. It is it's on my lips constantly. Some Ciate London watermelon burst hydration oil, lip oil, whatever. I love it. Also love the Bath and Body Works lip oil and Twisted Peppermint. Bath and Body Works lip oil and Peppermint Patty. Some Body Glide Foot Glide Anti Blister Balm, which I do put on that. Sometimes, man, if my socks are too low, if I'm working out at the gym, which I only go if I'm with my boyfriend. Otherwise, I work out at home, but my sneakers rub against you know, my heel or whatever it's called. And also sometimes when I'm wearing knee boots, knee high boots, sometimes that back of my ankle or yeah, the back of my heel freaking hurts, even with socks on. So I put that on and it works very good. And I got that off Amazon. Some uh, Mentos Pure Fresh gum. I love this gum. A cheap ass and filthy mirror that is broke. Uh, a Sinful Colors Beautiful Nail Polish in the shade Beach Vibes. It's a navy blue. Nail File. I don't remember the brand and it's rubbed off. I don't know. I'm sorry. There's nothing on it indicating a brand name and it's rubbed off. But basically, it's a lip color and it's but it's very it's sheer and it has glitter in it and I just love the shade of uh, it's like brown taupey brown mauve it's perfect and I keep that in there I'm not a heavy lipstick wearer I just dropped all the bobby pins off the goddamn floor so son of a bitch trying to stop the perfume from falling damn it pick dental floss a mini of black opium by Yves Saint Laurent YSL can you tell the a brand theme that I also enjoy yes I do love YSL some cuticle oil by glisten and glow I believe it's blueberry blueberry cobbler it's an indie brand that I enjoy Um, a, it's, it was a sample that was in, uh, one of Benefit Cosmetics, I think it was a, an advent calendar, Sugar Bomb, it's a very, very, like, sheer lip gloss, it's got little, little things, little sparklies in them, an Apple Watch thingy, <laughs> uh, let's see, that's the top two. One of the perfumes. Holy moly. Tons of hair clips and a bobby pin that I did not realize I had in my bag. Garbage. Literally like four pairs of earrings. Band-aids, another nail file. And a CoverGirl 
eyebrow pencil in the color blonde that I use as a lip liner. And holy, that's it. That's what was in my bag. So let's put this thingy in. I will be taking out the key thing and the extra insert. And I will, thanks Siri. And let's put it in. It's a squeeze. Listen, I'm not a professional bag organizer, so I don't know if it's supposed to bend a little, but this is what it looks like on the inside. So I guess it does fit. It should be fine. I just wanted to quickly insert here. Um, I had referenced another video that I think you should go watch. That's where I show you what I purchased with my Christmas money. And it, 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 deal, it dealt with the bag insert and things like that. But I just wanted to say, because I said it in that video, that yes, everything you just saw is what's in my bag. That's the bag I take with me everywhere. You know, I do change it out if I want to, you know, match my outfit or something like that. Um, but it, they're always smaller bags. So I don't have a lot of weight on my shoulders. But I carry a separate bag that back in the day when I was using the really large totes when they were, you know, in fashion, all the stuff that was in the large totes that I used to carry around with me, um, I still want with me in case I need it. So I do still carry that a separate bag that has all the stuff that I feel if I don't have it with me, I'm gonna want it. So it comes with me and I keep it. And an eggplant colored uh, Telfar bag. And it's a lot of shit. It's a lot of shit. I carry a lot with me. But the what's in my bag is what I carry me like literally everywhere. So I am one of those people. Like, I, I like to have my stuff with me, man. The minute I don't have it, it's the minute I want it. So there you go. That's, that's what was in my bag with my shitty lighting. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. I do I do try to post at least once a week on this channel. Like I said, I do have that man. My hair is bugging me. It's falling down. My um my hair is bugging me. Um I try to post over here at least once a week. I do post daily and mostly take Saturday and Sunday off, but sometimes I post over. So I guess I shouldn't call it daily during the week daily. On my other channel, which is Manifesting with Kimberly. Um, if you're into manifestation and getting what you want out of life, just by changing your thinking, please come on over there. We have a, uh, an amazing community. We ca I call everybody the HBICs, which is the head bitch, boy, badass, whatever you want to say, boss, or be in charge of your reality because you are. Whether you believe you are or not, you are. All with your thinking. So, yeah, come on over there. We are a very supportive community. We have fun. I go live over there weekly and on that note i'm gonna let you go and put my purse back together okay thanks so much i'll see you soon